good, man. Singer. Singer, singer. Yeah. Okay. Have you metered it? Not since I've uh, put it together. It's not even tuned. Oh, okay. Ran it. Been running, ran into a few problems, but. Yes, sir. Take away your things and go. You can't take it. That's the amps, the battery. Alright. Ready? It's pretty heavy. Oh, so you have to have like a stand to hold it up? Yeah, no. Okay. That looks good, man. Woo! Got it all sealed off, too, and it still flexes. Can't forget to flex, man. Especially, especially when you're this loud. Yeah, I gotta get some uh, brace in it. I gotta put some brace in back there. That's very good. You literally. I got my things clean, bro. Let me give me that mean mouth. Get that pussy back off, bro. I really appreciate the demo, that was awesome. I don't look like yeah, yeah, yeah. I like most of those, man. They were great. Yeah, and I appreciate yes. making cool ass videos, man. Yes, sir. I do a video every day. I'm trying to do one every day year round. You said, I know I've heard it all before.
salute. What's up guys, it's Jacob Barrel. Um, for this setup I just posted of two 15s and a semi-trunk, I would call it maybe hatchback since it's in the back seat, back area of the trunk. Um, it was a really good flex video for sure. Um, two things I would like to point out about it. One, the trunk seal off the way he had it set up. If you notice, he had foam around it. Um, that's a really good option to do anytime you're doing a trunk setup. If you're not competing in trunk wall or non-trunk wall, I don't know, however you would say it. Um, but notice that he put foam around it. You can also try tape or wood or fiberglass resin. Those are other options that people do. I've even seen people do carpet um, and uh, even like a, a dampening factor as well is another one I've seen people do. So that's a good option to choose <clears throat> when you're doing the... Um, trunk seal off and that was one pretty cool uh, thing I noticed that he tried to do and it doesn't prevent all the flex but it puts more pressure in the cabin so that's the main reason why you do that and 90% of the time the meter goes up your score goes up you're louder as well and it'll also change your frequency tuning everything so next thing I wanted to mention was if you looked in the video he had his subs were folding a little bit maybe a little bit too much excursion, maybe he was maxing the subs out. So basically, whenever you see a subwoofer fold, in other words, it seems like the sub is bottoming out where you can see like a little tear or curve in the subwoofer, normally means that you're pretty much going to almost the mechanical limits of the subwoofer or you're over obscuring, you're getting to the X max of the subwoofer or you're giving it more power than it's rated for, which a lot of subs can take more than they're rated, but there gets to a point to where you may be playing outside of the tuning or giving it too much power or it's just reacting to that frequency a little bit differently than others. So maybe he was playing a little bit more lows in that song and that was causing the subwoofer to fold a little bit more. So... Yeah, those are the two things I would like to point out in this video that I really liked. Um, it was a pretty good setup. It gave a lot of flex. You can tell it was flexing a lot from the outside with the doors moving and the trunk moving. And inside, you can't really tell because of all the pressures built up, but it was pretty good. I'd say it's probably doing a 51 or 52 around that range on the music he was playing. So now for today's shout outs. Um, today's shout out is going to go to one of my new subscribers. He said, thanks. I subscribed. I like a daily shout out and I'm a new viewer and really enjoy your videos of different setups so I really appreciate all the new subscribers as well as the old um, I try to make a different variety of setups like today's is a no wall trunk setup so one day I might do a wall or a fourth order another day I'll do a trunk setup or a budget build so I try to do a variety um there's a lot of less for budget builds out there that go to car shows so it's hard to find a lot of those videos so those don't come out as much but I really appreciate you, CBD Sounds. Sorry, I didn't put it up there. CBD Sounds said that. So I really appreciate that. Um, thanks for watching, CBD Sounds. That's your shout out for the day. And uh, stay tuned for more videos to come. This is Jacob Vial out. If you want a daily shout out, just comment on um, anything. Uh, longer sentences are better. Uh, that way I get some more feedback from you guys as well. And, uh, see you all tomorrow.